Hello everyone. In this section, we are going to discuss about array. Why do we need an array? When we declare a variable, it can store only one value at a time. But what if you want to store more than one value under one name? In that case, you can take an array. When you declare a variable, for example, let number is equal to 10. We'll try to display the value of number. Now we'll run the code. So the output is 10. Internally, one location is created to store the value 10. Next time, you assign a new value to this number. For example, I just say number is equal to 20. Again, if I try to display the value, let's run the code. Now, the next value for the number is 20. So 10 is replaced by 20. So as you can see in the output, the new value for number variable is 20. But if you want to store more numbers by using one name, you can create an array. The syntax to create an array in JavaScript is like this. You use the let or var or even const then the array name is equal to we use the square bracket and we give the list of values each value is separated by a comma sign let's try to create an array and we run the code to see how it looks we'll create an array called numbers i'm using the square bracket let's say 3 4 6 10 maybe 300 so this is an array we have created which has 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 values. Let's try to display the value of this array and then we'll discuss in detail. Here is the array which shows these are the values it has. When an array is declared like this, internally we can imagine this figure. As you can see, there are five blocks under one name called numbers. Each block is called as an element. Every element is given a unique number by JavaScript, which is called as an index number. So now we can say that this array numbers is having five elements. It also means zero is the lowest element which is also called as the lower boundary and 4 is the upper boundary. If you want to get access of any specific element, then you can use the array name square bracket index. For example, I want to assign value 20 to second element. Then I will go to the code and add the array name square bracket the second element. So if you write 2 here, it means it is going to change the third element. But because I want to change the second element and the index number begins with 0, I will say 1 equal to 20. Now let's try to display the array again. Earlier it is showing 4 in the next line it is showing that the second element is changed and the new value is assigned to it. In JavaScript, array has a property called length. It returns total number of elements the array has. For example, in this case, if I add console.log numbers.length and we run this again, then the output is 5. It shows that the length property of every array returns total number of elements. There are many methods and property we have with array which we are going to discuss in forthcoming sections. So this is a general idea about array. By definition, array is collection of values. In some languages, array can store similar data type values only. 
For example, numeric array can store only numbers and a string array can store all string values. But in JavaScript, an array can store any type of data. For example, we can create an array ARR which can store a number, maybe a string, a boolean and what not. Let's try to display the value of ARR that's the name of the array so if we run without any error it is showing all the elements so we do not have type fixed array in JavaScript we can store any value in fact you can have array as well as an object here but having an array or object as an element is a part of advanced JavaScript concept which we are going to deal with in forthcoming sessions so array is very useful feature of all programming languages where with a single name you can have multiple values. As array is a collection of elements and we need to traverse through array to access individual elements. The traditional way is to loop through an array. Let's check the traditional way first and then we will learn various methods to loop through an array in JavaScript. Let's take an array called ARR test. So I'm going to say let ARR test is equal to, I will assign few values, let's say 4, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Let's first of all try to display this array itself. Now I'm going to run this code. As you can see in the output, it says five elements and all the elements are displayed in the output. This we are trying to display or we are trying to access the entire array. But there are many situations where you need to access individual element. In such cases, JavaScript provides many methods with array but the traditional way is that we loop through the array using a for loop. So let's try that. In the same code, now I'm going to add a for loop where I begin i with 0. I will write a condition that I should go till the length of the array but not actually the length because array has in this case 5 elements that means the index number will be from 0 to 4. So I'm going to write a condition i less than equal to ARR test dot length minus 1 or I can say i less than ARR test dot length. Of course I'm going to write i plus plus here and let's try to display the individual element using the console.log statement. Let's try to run this code and see what is the output. As you can see now that every individual element is displayed separately. This is a very common way to deal with array in all traditional languages but JavaScript because it gives functional programming we have many other methods to access the array which we will see in forthcoming sections.